um, Bill Black, uh, Montour School District, David E. Williams Middle School, STEM teacher. Uh, this will be my seventh year in the STEM program. I think just get in and try. Um, anything I do in my class, I show them basics and then I let the students either grade eight, five or grade eight just get in and practice. The best way to learn something is by doing. Um, don't be afraid of the term AI or artificial intelligence. It's not scary, it's not going away. So I think just get into it and start it's, practicing. I think the, the biggest aspect of it is they're not RoboCop coming to take your job. They're not going to put a, a robot in front of a class to start teaching these kids. Um, I don't think that'll ever happen because you lose that human connectivity. Um, the biggest thing I think is to get these people over that fear is they're not here for your job. They're here to make your job better, more efficient, and just help you. A robot, if you need it, can run 24 hours a day. You can't, it's not physically possible. So I think it's just a, that aspect of getting over that fear is just the biggest hurdle. And I even think with my parents that are in their 70s, you think artificial intelligence, you might as well be speaking a different language that they don't know. So artificial intelligence is here to help, not here to scare. Mm -hmm. um, the willingness to try things. Willingness to try. Right. I think what, one thing helps is the Xbox controller. Mm -hmm. These kids know Xbox and PS4. So they know the ins and outs of, a, of an Xbox controller. And then they kind of relate that to almost like a game. And they realize that they're running a robot, but then they see, oh, this is fun. This is, I'm learning something, but they don't actually think that they're learning. And then it just, it, they're hands-on. If it's hands-on, they're all about it. And if it's not boring, they'll keep doing it. I'm not sure how else to get it out there. I mean, I mean, I'm on social media, AI is on social media everywhere. Like I was, some of these people that are here today are parents, which really caught me off guard. It did. Yeah, I, I, would, I expected teachers. Mm. So to hear parents are taking it and using it with their children and then trying to get other children in means to me that school districts need to start getting into this more. Mm. So as far as getting AI and ready AI out there, I think through these conferences basically and where teachers are, like Trexy, I don't know if you guys are going to Trexy. I, I know I'm talking about it there at Trexy. Mm -hmm. um, I, know I, I will obviously mention Ready AI because it's just, that's, this is the only company that I know of that will deal with this right now. Others are pushing Vex or pushing the Legos. Well, nothing's pushing Cosmo right now except for Ready AI. I see. They just need to be willingness to try. You can relate Cosmo and artificial intelligence to any subject area. Hmm. Um, if you look at it through the arts or through histories, even geography and things in math, I mean, anything that you can think of, you can write through artificial intelligence. Um, so to have a closed mind that says you can't use that, I don't have the time for that, there's always time for AI, if, in my opinion. Hmm. You can relate to it in your own subject area. Is there any willing to be willing to try and be willing to try. So let that's, these that's let, the the, let these kids let these kids explore. If you have the ability to bring them to them, why wouldn't you bring something that you know is going to be fun and, and work? Why wouldn't you bring that to your kids? Thank you, Bill. No problem. Thank you.